Hello Virgo and welcome to my channel Green Lane Goddess Tarot. This is your weekly reading and yeah happy birthday to all you Virgos who are having a birthday or celebrating a birthday this week. We have the message coming in for you persistence. I feel like your third eye is wide open and you've been given the message to stick with something, something in your life at this moment. It could even be quite visionary but it just has this sense that you're being really intuitively guided towards it at this moment in time. So let's see what is the situation or theme that's coming through for you, Virgo. Situation or theme for Virgo. My goodness. Okay. We have the Knight of Shells, which is the equivalent of the Knight of Cups, Charm and Passion. Very nice. Okay. Charm and Passion. This is sometimes somebody that comes into your life that's very charming and passionate that you might be connecting with this week. So this is something that maybe it's, or it's you know, this person could be a catalyst for you to connect in with your own passion. So that's going to be the theme. Sometimes the Knight of Shells, which is the Knight of Cups, is love and romance as well, or just following your heart, like following a dream of some sort. So they can be the themes that are coming up. But yeah, I feel like... Hmm, there's something, potentially somebody that's around you that seems very charming that you're trying to get a little bit of a better sense of as well for some of you that is coming in. But the, whatever it is, this um, energy is saying stick with it, persistence. So what's shifting and changing? We've got Sword Queen, Libra Throne and Wand Three Sun Aries. Okay. So the equilibrium inside your mind is potentially shifting. Your inner resolve is potentially shifting here and you're getting some positive results. And that's why we're getting the persistence, persistence, persistence. Connect to those passions of yours, which is really fantastic. We've also got Cup 7 Moon Scorpio. So you may have been looking at lots of options or choices in your life, or this could be opening up this week. But some of these are going to be good, some of them not so good. It's an evaluation process of what are the choices that lie in front of you and what are shifting and changing with those choices. Maybe thinking about making different choices around something that is sparking your passion. So interesting. Okay. It actually feels good. It feels like there's, some, there's something in your, your mind is trying to work out, but it's keeping your mind active and occupied. Maybe there's someone on your mind, but this feels like it's taking up some nice space in that it's kind of nice to think about this, get inspired or just feel good about it. So that's a nice energy to come through to Virgo. So let's see what message do we have for Virgo, what does Virgo need to hear this week? We have joy is the ultimate creator. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And that's why I kind of get this image of this very beautiful, warm glow that's around your head. And that would be inspiration plus also joy. And that's connecting into this charm and passion or somebody who's very charming and passionate around you. It doesn't have to be romantic. It can just be somebody, you know, you meet those people that they love what they do and then they start getting you excited about something as well. It can just be that or it could actually be a really lovely connection that you're having with something or someone here. So joy is the ultimate creator. Connect into that energy of joy and the thing Things that you can create this week could be really amazing. So, wow, whether this is creating like a, it could be very creative as in a creative artwork, it could be creating a lovely bond with somebody, it could be creating opportunities, <laughs> whatever it is that you're wanting to create. Oh, what's coming towards you that you may or may not know about is the Ace of Pentacles. Be open to receive. There's something really lovely grounding down here that's wanting a little bit more of your time and nourishment and energy. And I kind of get, yeah, it's very much connected again to this charm and passion, <laughs> whether this is a person or a thing that you're really enjoying doing. So this is the start of a new cycle with it. Stick with it because there's new energy coming in. And this thing could make you know, some money as well with the Ace of Pentacles or it just could be feeling good. You know, it's starting to ground down into something that could be nourishing and feel nice. So let's see where this is going. <laughs> I just dropped the temperance card on the floor. I'll just pick it up for you. So we have temperance which is yeah, 
the, the card of Sagittarius, the page of wands is getting excited about a new spark, about new passion, about something that is kind of, you're getting really optimistic, enthusiastic about, you know, this. there's potential some growth here. This is next to the temperance energy, which brings in healthy balances, healthy relationships, health in general. That might be something you're working on. The temperance energy, like I said, is a Sagittarius energy. So maybe there is a Sagittarius around you that you're getting excited about working with or somebody with Sagittarius type energy. So this person could be fairly open-minded, optimistic, somebody who loves travel, adventure, study kind of energy. But yeah, the temperance energy, its it feels really good, like things are starting to flow here between you and another energy. Paths are opening up. You can see there's two paths opening up here that are aligning and in balance, in alignment and balance to the things that are sparking your passion this week, which is really, really lovely, Virgo. I love it. Okay. I'm loving this energy for you, especially as we're in Virgo season, birthday season. So let's see what blessings of the week is coming in. This already feels like a lovely blessing that's coming in, something new. Oh, that comes through. Oh, the Ace of Swords. Okay, you've got two aces. So new, lots of new energy coming in. This could be a brilliant new idea that comes through with the Ace of Swords. This could be a very clear and direct conversation that could feel like a blessing as well. You know, perhaps you're opening up to somebody. Perhaps you're just seeing something really clearly. This is the gift of clarity that comes through with the Ace of Swords. So it feels really fantastic. So that is the blessing that comes through this week. You're seeing a situation really clearly and accurately, which is really lovely. But yeah, it could be like really brilliant new ideas. Like I said, this could be uh, a real brainstorming energy to come through. So yeah, really lovely. And, and perhaps you're just seeing an opportunity really clearly or a person really clearly. And, and it might be like, um, I think I'm liking what I'm seeing here. So let's see what animal energy you're working with. But if you're having, you know, if this is something like a creative process or something that you're passionate about that you've had any kind of blocks with, then the Ace of Swords just clears all of that. You know, it clears the, all the obstacles. So the paths are open. You can walk down these new paths that more aligned to you and it feels fantastic. Sometimes the Ace of Swords is new contracts that come through as well. So let's see, animal energy that you are working with. We've got a fair bit that has come in here, but it feels right. So I'm going to read it all, Virgo. So Peacock, things are looking good. Absolutely. Somebody might notice you or you might notice them this week. The frog, oh, okay, it, when it rains, it pours. Or this could be something that you could uh, get a lot of your needs met all in one go here with the little frog energy. This is something that's coming in that you need. <laughs> so whether this is a bit of extra attention, love, just getting excited about something or meeting somebody, it's really lovely. We have the dragonfly. So there's messages from spirit coming in, just lightly touching your mind, just going, checking in, just checking in with you. So this could be the light touch is the way to go as well. I feel like it's like there could be some little uh, new ideas or new thoughts that are coming through that just you just want to check in with how you're feeling, but just feels very nice and just little moments, little nice mindful moments or mo moments of connection that come through, which feel really nice. We've also got bat and snake. Wow. So it's almost like the bat energy is where you're feeling something out. You really like vibes speak louder than words energy. Your direction is something that potentially you <laughs> potentially you can't see it just yet, but you can feel it. So that's when you're sensing a lot of things. You might be very uh, more in tune to another person or another energy, more sensitive to how other people are feeling at this moment in time. But this is a great gift, they're saying this week with the snake energy. This is a great gift of being able to understand cycles and perhaps see the potential in situations in yourself and in other people. So it's a vision, like I said, it's a visionary energy that you've got, but you're kind of working your magic here and it's almost like your prayers are being answered with someone or a beautiful flow of new, these new paths being opened up, which is really lovely. So Love it. Okay, so let's pull an affirmation card for you, Virgo. I love it. I love it. I love it. And we do have the angel coming through. Yes, a lot of abundance coming through as well. The fact that so many cards are coming out. This one says, I am worth loving. Yes, I do not have to earn love. I am lovable because I exist. Exactly. Of course. 
Others reflect the love I have for myself. And I feel like there's a very, very nice relationship that's coming in that's going to reflect that back to you, which is really lovely. This one says, it is safe to look within. As I move through the layers of other people's opinions and beliefs, oh, I love this one. I see within myself a magnificent being, wise and beautiful. I love what I see in me. And both of these all about going in and seeing yourself, what's been reflected back and just going, you know what, I, I think I... I love it. I love what I'm seeing. So absolutely beautiful. A lot of self-love that's coming through, which is really, or feeling the love, which is really nice. Beautiful energy. So let's look at potential outcomes for the week. What sort of uh, energy is coming in as outcomes or possibilities for the week? Where, where to next with all this energy? Let's see what is coming through for Virgo. Oh, we love it. The elephant coming through with strength, courage and endurance. Wow. And you've got persistence, courage, endurance. The universe is making something a lot more pleasurable, feeling a lot more connected, but it's saying stick with it. You're connecting into your strength, your resilience, how brave you are. And the elephant is actually a really, really wonderful symbol for abundance, stepping into that. So I feel like you're on this kind of big path here at this moment in time, taking big steps down the path and the universe is just kind of still going, keep going, keep going, keep going, Virgo. So wow, how absolutely beautiful. So that's it. That is your reading for the week. So I'd love to hear how this is resonating for you. Please leave a comment and yeah, happy birthday again if it's your birthday week and please like, subscribe and share if you think this will help somebody and take care, Virgo.